Yes, at least this place no longer reeks of that of a Spanish brothel. For I am the one, the only. I have been, I do must apologize, I have been partaking of the preferred stock here. But this, this hobo keeps in this hovel. So yes, I am the one, and I am the illustrious. I am Dr. Tom, as you can tell by my multitude of degrees in my area. Yes. For unfortunately, though, before we play my music, I make any proclamations on this weekend's wrestling activities. I must first take my hat off in pure sorrow to the passing of one Daphne. May she be lifted up by the angels on this evening. To probably a plethora of medical conditions, she very untimely and unfortunately decided to take her own life. Such a sad passing for such a exquisite, charming. And beautiful woman. But unfortunately, as they say, the show must continue. And yes, for the world is a stage, we all have a part to play, even in such a tragedy. But <laughs> more so than a tragedy, probably a comedy, a comedy of errors shall be occurring this Sunday. Yes, for AEW has its all-out pay-per-view. So you never know what's going to happen. They've already cancelled one match because of flight issues. Man, this is the 22nd century. This is the 21st century. Cannot you get a simple flight? Or is it that virulent Viruses Virus issue, issue again. again. Yes. These uncivilized masses choose to run amok in their own filth and swallow. That's why I do not associate with them. But yes, right again, I am the one esteemed Dr. Tom. So please play my magnum opus. Yes, with all the pleasantries and introductions complete, let us talk about this card for All Out. As you can tell, so, so much gambling, games of fortune and chance are involved with AEW. They're going to have, I believe, the one pre-show, the buy-in. Only a man distinguishes as myself. It's not lay wagers on these games for I'm a master of chess I'm the baron of backgammon yes those are much more intellectual arts and occasionally you might find me as the count of checkers as well but no this is the grappling a physical contest between men of absurd musculature and an AEW tiny petite women yes but that is a concern for other issues oh and the lack and improper use of pyrotechnics to encourage the masses not to bore the masses or to have the masses ridicule them. Yes. So there is going to be some buy and match. I, I don't. They wagers upon such frivolous things. So let's get to the main card. So 
there's a 20 woman 21 woman battle royal like the same number found in blackjack my prediction see a little bit of a bonus for I predict Ruby Soho shall be a, the Joker and the winner of this 21 Battle Royal. Now you may know Ruby Soho by her various other iterations, such as Ruby Riot. And even more previous than that, even though there is no familial lineage, as she told the file and cursed, disgusting lie or a half-truth once, is that she was probably also, at one time, Heidi Lovelace. Indeed. So yes, Ruby Soho shall be victorious in the 21-woman Battle Royal. Then we have John Moxley. Man, I'm wary of. A very violent individual, yes. Some things are not right with one John Moxley. He takes on Satoshi Kojima. John Moxley shall be victorious. Then we have a true giant among men and Paul White taking on the lowly QT Marshall and a true David Versus Goliath scenario, but in this case, the Goliath is too much for the smaller David, and Paul White shall be victorious. And then in a retirement match, oh, my sweet prince, Chris Jericho puts his career on the line against that dastardly MJF. Unfortunately, I do fear we must bid a fair adieu to one Chris Jericho, for I predict MJF will be victorious. Chris Jericho might need some time off too. Then we have Miro, the Bulgarian brute, the man who talks extensively about the love making abilities and other more sexual relations more intimate relations with his wife on air takes on Eddie Kingston for the TNT championship <laughs> if Eddie Kingston is afraid of a mere poof of a ring he would be terrified of the true nature of TNT, also known as trinitrotoluene, which can be synthesized in the most basic collegiate organic laboratory. For Miro, yes, he shall be victorious. Then we have the brothers, the clash of brothers. Not so much the North versus South as in the Civil War, where it was brother against brother. But no, we have the Jackson brothers, the Bucks of Youth, the Young Bucks, taking on the Lucha brothers from south of the border. Yes, that's correct. And from Mexico, even though it took nearly one entire month do that stench of a Mexican whorehouse out of here because of that disgusting El Vagabundo. Oh, I digress. Again, from watching Triple Mania, Triple A's Triple Mania. Ugh. The vileness that went on and the bodily fluids exchanged in this hovel with poor cheap tequila and and rums 
made by... Oh, I, I shall not get into that anymore. But the Lucha Brothers of Ray Phoenix and Pentacon Cerro Miedo are very simply Pentacon Jr. So in this match, oh, this is going to be exciting. But this is a true match of the night. With the Lucha Brothers being victorious. And then... I will not go as far as one James E. Cornette and say I shall invoke the tooth and nail rule. But Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, why should she sully herself in that filthy, dirty, downtrodden wrestling canvas in front of plebeians who drink swillish beer? from plastic cups and eat food with their bare hands. So uncivilized. Well, Britt Baker, Dr. Britt Baker, Dr. Britt Baker, the MD, takes on person who comes from the stars, who believes that she is communed with extraterrestrials and aliens. Chris Statlander. You know... Oddly enough, just to appease the masses, to appease the common folks, such as the Roman Emperor would do in the days of the bread and circuses, circuses of the Roman Empire, Chris Statlander will be the AEW Women's Champion. But again, just take a nap through this match. That's all. Nice little nap. Then we get, oh yes, the glorious return, bringing his own cult of personality, C.M. Punk, takes on a street punk, a street, not even a street punk, I correct myself, a street urchin. Such as Darby Allen. CM Punk will be victorious. For this is my stone cold lock of the night. Then the main event of the evening. We have Kenny Omega. In. Not the not the beginning, but the end, as the symbol Omega represents. For he is not the Alpha, for he is Kenny Omega. He takes on Christian Cage for the AEW Championship. Christian Cage already has acquired the Impact Belt from Kenny Omega, as well as the TNA. Cham heavyweight championship from Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega shall retain the more prestigious AEW heavyweight championship belt and all the glory that that entails. Those are my most esteemed predictions. Again, on behalf, I guess, of that hobo, that vagabond Hobo Tom, who, by the way, he wrote a note, he will be in Jacksonville this Friday. Indeed. Please say, Sir, how do you fare today when you see Hobo Tom in Jacksonville? With the plebes, like he should be. He's probably... Ugh, I don't want to imagine the... Type of woman that Hobo Tom might, Ugh, such a disgusting thought, but lust after. Ah, oh, Hobo Tom. Only I shall give him credit what credit is due. 
He is a true man of the populace. Even though the populace are disgusting, vile, and filthy. Yes. Again, you can see him this Friday up in Jacksonville, the Veterans Arena. And for I am the esteemed Dr. Tom, going to go back to my civilities of reading. Yes, for my most, the most educated person watching this show. Of course, the, the finer endeavors, a nice book, some classical music, a nice glass of scotch, fine scotch. Yes. Again, I bid ye adieu. Bye. It's time to get out of this place and be somewhere more civilized. Yes.